The Russians have a new destructive weapon Draken, according to the Welt publication. I in recent weeks, a prototype of the new TOS-3 flamethrower system has appeared for the first time. Each Draken launcher is capable of launching missiles with thermobaric warheads of high destructive power. The publication writes that one volley can turn several blocks of the city into ruins. The new missile launcher can fire at a distance of up to 15 kilometers. It is created on the basis of existing TOS-1 and TOS-2 systems, which Russians are actively using in the war with Ukraine. Judging by the image, the TOS-3 will be based on a tank track chassis, like its predecessors TOS-1 and the TOS-1 Asolnsepek, while the launcher will be borrowed from the TOS-2 Tasachka, which has its own ammunition loading mechanism that facilitates reloading. Russians are actively using the TOS-1 Asolnsepek against the defense forces of Ukraine. This system is forced to approach very close to the front line due to the fact that its maximum range of fire is only 6 kilometers. Russians also use a wheeled version of the TOS-2 Tasachka MRL, which is made on the basis of a Ural 63706 truck with a 6x6 wheel arrangement. Unlike TOS-1 and TOS-1A that use track chassis of the T-72 or T-90 tanks respectively, Crimean Bridge will not be standing by the end of the year, Ukraine's envoy to the UN. Ukraine's envoy to the UN, Sergei Kislitsa, has issued a veiled threat against the Crimean Bridge, implying that the structure will not be standing by the end of the year. Russia completed the structure spanning the Kirsch Strait in 2020 as part of Moscow's strategy to counter a Ukrainian land blockade of Ukraine. The Kirsch Strait Bridge serves as a key supply route for Russia's forces. Ukraine struck the 19-kilometer road and rail bridge in October 2022 and again in July 2023. The bridge is crucial to sustaining Moscow's military offensives in southern Ukraine. Kiev has vowed future strikes on the structure as it seeks to recapture the peninsula, which Russia annexed in 2014. Kislitsa issued his threat in a post on X sharing a picture of a 2024 list of six main types of bridges. The example labelled Kirsch showed an empty space. Senior Ukrainian officials have declared the destruction of the Crimean bridge as a priority, claiming it is a legitimate military target. President Vladimir Zelensky told German media that destroying the link is something that we want very much. Fears are growing among Russian military bloggers that Ukrainian forces are preparing to attack the Kirsch Strait Bridge. Last week, Lithuania's ambassador to Sweden, Linas Linkavisius, suggested on social media that the US supply of ATA CMS missiles would result in the destruction of the Crimean Bridge. The diplomat urged people to take selfies with the structure while they still can. Moscow considers Ukrainian threats and tactics as confirmation that using military force against its neighbor was the correct decision. Amid frontline setbacks, Kiev is resorting to attempts to incur and seize border territories, strikes against peaceful areas, including with multiple launch rocket systems, attacks on energy infrastructure, attempted missile strikes at the Crimean Bridge and the peninsula itself, Russian President Vladimir Putin stated last month. U.S. Congress calls for urgent transfer of cluster bombs to Ukraine. The U.S. Congress said that the American military is currently sitting on a surplus of cluster bombs, igniting discussions among lawmakers about the need to allocate more of these munitions to Ukraine, according to Congressman Joe Wilson of the Republican Party during hearings in the U.S. House of Representatives. There's an expressed hope that cluster bombs will swiftly find their way into Ukrainian hands. We have surpluses that must be destroyed. I know a way to destroy them, and that is to send them to the people of Ukraine, said Wilson. During his appearance in the House of Representatives, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin commented on the provision of long-range ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine, affirming that the U.S. will provide Ukraine with as many opportunities as they can. Congressman Joe Wilson is a staunch supporter of Ukraine, having visited the country last year as part of a House delegation. During their visit, the delegation held talks with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Cluster bombs, as explained, are ordnance or missiles that disperse smaller bomblets 
upon detonation, offering the advantage of affecting a larger area. However, the lethal weapons are highly controversial and are banned under an international treaty signed by 123 countries, but not the US, Russia and Ukraine. Despite the Convention's adoption, the proportion of cluster munitions victims has increased significantly, especially in recent years, due to escalated use of the bombs but also better documentation thereof. In 2020, for instance, half of all cluster munitions casualties were recorded in Syria, where the bombs have been used since 2012, both from direct attacks and through previously unexploded residual components. According to Human Rights Watch, Russian troops have extensively used cluster munitions in Ukraine, killing many civilians and causing other serious civilian harm. Ukrainian forces had also used them, causing numerous deaths and serious injuries to civilians, the international non-governmental organization said.